When the Apostle Paul had been away and had calls to write to the churches that he had helped to start, to plant, he often wrote to them with thankfulness to God. This is the case in the second letter that he wrote to the Thessalonians. He says, we ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, and rightly so, because your faith is growing more and more, and the love all of you have for one another is increasing. Therefore, among God's churches, we boast about your perseverance and faith in all the persecutions and trials that you are enduring. Paul is thankful not directly to the Thessalonians for their faith and for their love for one another, but he's thankful to God for them. Why? Because it's God who has given them that faith. It's God who's given them that love for one another. Their faith and their love are the fruits of God's work, God's transformation in their lives. And I have to say, I haven't been away on a long journey. I've been away for two weeks and already it's good to come back. And this morning to be in contact with people and to hear of the love that you have for one another, to hear of people visiting other people and spending time with them, to hear of somebody picking up on somebody uh, during Zoom time and sending them a text to see how they are and following that up with an invitation to catch up and to meet, to hear of phone calls that have made and a general desire and love to support each other during what are difficult days, days of trial. We may not be facing the kind of persecution that the Thessalonians were facing for their new faith in Jesus Christ, but we're in these days of trial, aren't we? We're not able to meet together physically and to have that connection and to encourage and love one another. But nevertheless, we can be creative and imaginative, as you are doing, to help and to support one another. And it's always encouraging for a pastor to hear that people's faith is growing, that they're benefiting from the word of God personally, that they're meeting with somebody else to read God's word, that they, when I see people, and hear of people studying God's word, reading God's word, and growing in love. And Paul prays for the church. He says this is 2 Thessalonians 1, 11. He says, we constantly pray for you. And surely that must be my role to constantly pray for Pendennis Good News Church. That, God, that our God may make you worthy of his calling and that by his power he may bring to fruition every desire for goodness and your every deed prompted by faith. You see, Paul knows that God is the one who's given them faith. God is the one that's brought love for one another and it's God who will continue the work in them. And so he prays for that. He prays for the fruition of every desire for goodness. If you have any desire for goodness, any desire to live a holy life, a life that pleases God, it's because God has planted that desire in you. And how will that be brought to fruition, to, to full growth or increasing growth? It is by God completing that work that he has begun in you and you and I must pray for one another that God will complete that work that desire for ongoing increasing holiness and that he may bring to fruition uh, our deeds prompted by faith and so desires for goodness and deeds of faith desires and deeds what we are and what we do May God bring growth in those areas. We see the beginnings. We see indications of God at work and we pray for more, even in days of trial and difficulty.
Father, I pray now for Pandanus Good News Church and anybody else that's watching this that is a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you for them, that you have shown your grace to them. You are the one that's reached out and pulled them to yourself. You've made them your children. And I pray, Father, that you would go on that maturing work in their life to hold on to them through difficult days and to cause their faith to grow, to cause their desire for holiness to grow. And Lord, that you would increase their love for their brothers and sisters in Jesus, that we might love and encourage each other, that you might encourage deeds of faith, deeds that we can't do on our own. Lord, help us to do things greater than we can do in our own strength and power because that is testimony to your grace and power in the life of your church and we pray this father because paul prays this so that the name of our lord jesus may be glorified in us father glorify the name of jesus through pendennis good news church and other churches around the country and around the world we pray amen